Well, this is a, an emotional day for me. We're here for our groundbreaking for our 775 acre campus called Spiros. This is the, the biggest expansion that Moffitt has experienced since its first groundbreaking almost 40 years ago. It's gonna be a life science park like no other. It's something we have been dreaming about for over a decade. We've run out of space. We knew that we needed a greater research and treatment facility, and that was the birth of Spiros here in Pasco County. Now we're here um, on the day of a uh, groundbreaking. This will be about a third bigger than downtown Tampa. We needed to have not only more clinical space, room for a new proton center, educational facilities, room for more research. So we think universities, uh, life sciences, uh, industry will be here alongside with us. You know, it'll be great for industry and us to partner. It'll also be a wonderful place for patients because there's so much nature here. You're talking about thousands of jobs. You're talking about high paying jobs, research jobs. And the idea is to bring disciplines that can translate into the clinic and also can translate into uh, biotech. This is really going to be the epicenter for the best and the brightest for healing, innovation, education. Uh, we've had extraordinary support, and especially from the legislature and local governments. We could not have done this without the support of the state of Florida. And they have funded us consistently over the years. This is going to be uh, gigantic for the state, for Moffitt, for Pasco County. The care that will be given here to families will be transformative. Our mission is to prevent and cure cancer uh, through our research and clinical care, which we'll have both here. Think about the lives we're going to save the children who didn't lose a parent, the grandparent with more quality years and a longer life and better quality of life, and the tens of thousands of hearts that won't be broken. The bottom line for us is how many people do we cure? How many patients do we help uh, reduce the suffering and the, and the devastating impact of cancer to them and their families? 